Oh, good morning, Susan, from Pyongyang. It's early Monday here, the day after we saw Matthew Miller handcuffed and led out of the courtroom. His sentence was a surprise. Um, before that, there had only been very brief reports from the state news agency here saying that he'd torn up his visa and shouted, asking for asylum as he entered the country at Pyongyang Airport back in April. He spoke to us about a month, over a month ago, in early August, and he spoke to other media a month later. He, he didn't want to talk about what motivated his trip here to Pyongyang, so there was never any indication that the idea of espionage could be behind it, but that's what the court decided yesterday. And the other thing that is important to remember about this sentencing, where they say that there's no room for appeal, is that in other cases of Americans stuck here, they have not, even though they've received sentences, they have not immediately gone into the prison system and started hard labor. Back in 2009, two American reporters, also sentenced here, were not actually in a hard labor camp or prison. Before that time, there was intervention from Bill Clinton to come and retrieve them, get them out of here. So it's not yet clear whether Matthew Miller is actually going off anywhere to actually start hard labor yet. Raphael, what is the latest on the other two Americans currently being held in the DPRK, Kenneth Bay and Jeffrey Fowl? Those two cases are quite different from each other and again from that of Matthew Miller. Basically, Jeffrey Fowle has yet to stand any kind of trial. He said a month ago that he's worried that his trial will come soon. He's been given indications he might face a trial soon. The case of Bay, Kenneth Bay, he's been here the longest, nearly two years, and he has already had a trial. He's already in a, a kind of individual prison where he does hard labor, or at least working in fields, he's told us over the past months. So those cases are very different. We still don't know yet what's going to happen with Jeffrey Fowle.